Hello, welcome to That's Brad. Uh, this is a review video today. I've been sent by True Knight this, I've got it all written on the back, you ready? This Wildtech A7 Tactical Flashlight. It's an LED light. It has loads of different settings. Uh, so it's got strong set, um, strobe setting, sorry, turbo. High setting, high setting lasts about four hours. Medium setting lasts about 20 hours and low setting uh, obviously ages. The max beam is 268 meters and it is waterproof and impact resistant and rechargeable. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to read it. <laughs> uh, it's actually quite a good flashlight actually. You'll see in a minute, I take it out into some dark, scary woods. So what you get in the packet is your recharging cable, your belt thing. So this, this, I'll show you how it works. So let's get the torch out. This is the torch. Uh, we got some little bits of rope here to go on the end there. So you got this button. Wait, this button turns it on, and this button changes the settings. And then you hold it for strobe. So if we want to put our little belt clip onto this, uh, here's the recharging port. It's a micro USB. There we go, recharging port. This is fully waterproof, by the way. Uh, I think it's up to 1.5 meters of water. If we put this on here, it should just click. There we go. So that's clicked on. And you can hold it onto your belt. So we're out in the woods. It is pitch black and my friends are with me. You see, <laughs> there's one creepy, <laughs> creepy guy, <laughs> and there's another. Josh, where are you? Yeah. I can't even see you. There you are, no. <laughs> creep. <laughs> so we're in the woods, and we're going to test this torch out. Uh, this ain't the torch. This is someone's phone. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, let's have a look round. It's known for witchcraft and all that sort of stuff round here. Uh, I can't walk forward because I can't see. So. <laughs> So believe it or not, we are actually in the woods. As you can see, it's nice and bright. And I've got the torch here. So we're gonna test it, shall we test it? We'll turn it on now. That's pretty bright, that. We're not in a graveyard, we're in woods. That's pretty good. It's this touch. Still a graveyard. Oh yeah, there's but there's like witchcraft rituals done here. Uh, it does have different settings, so that's off. Well, you can't even see it. That's like very dim lit. Then a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, that's off, so that's the brightest. There you go, that's the brightest. So where's this thing? Apparently there's a mass grave here that the druids and people who have been hung have uh, all been buried and some spooky ghostly things happen around it. This guy knows where it is. Dead ahead. Dead ahead. So we're going to go to that. Right, so, say that again, Ducky. So, where you've got your markers, you get no tree. So those? Yeah. No wildlife and no noise, supposedly, when you stand in it. Where at the moment, you've got, like, the wind ripping through the trees. Yeah, I can hear the wind. So, this is the mass grave. This is, this ain't, this ain't legit, though. They haven't found bodies here, have they? Well, I don't think they've ever exhumed them. It's just documented over time that this is where these... So it's them. just a hearsay? Urban legends, that's them. Well, I can still hear the wind. I just keep seeing stuff dart across the trees. What is that? What's that up there? Yeah. 
Oh, they just chased yeah, them. Quiet. All right, yeah, that has okay. gone quieter. That has gone quieter. Because you're standing on the grave. So this is what you call a black crossroad. I think they called it. Black crossroad. And every now and again, you'll see something flying past. Like, Should we tell? Touch, you'll see something just shoot across the trees. Mate, it's creepy. Ooh, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> that is weird it has i can still hear the wind but it has gone quieter it could just be the geology of the land because there's it, it's raised more there you've also got the thing why is nothing ever grown here everywhere you go in the forest you've got flower you've got grass you've got moss you've got trees that have been here for years where here it's just dead ground yeah, it's weird how it's just nothing grows here. And if you look, perfectly on the outskirts there, you've got grass built growing on that little slope. So everywhere on the outskirts of the circle, you've got organic stuff growing. But here, nothing. Get your ghost box out. <laughs> Don't know what it is, you just feel more at Mate, I feel there. creepy in here. Something's definitely here. Yeah. Seriously, I feel like I'm being watched, don't you? <laughs> and not by viewers. <laughs> <laughs> this torch is pretty good, actually. Uh, yes, it's rechargeable. Watch the mud, I don't want it all in my car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I fell over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, is it on me? Here, get the camera. Oh. What was that about mud in the car? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, as Ducky was saying, this is rechargeable. It doesn't take batteries. It's all internally charged. Mate, there's a footpath there. Why the heck? The uh, why didn't you just say you were looking for a footpath? <laughs> Let's see how well your, your phone torch does. It's say compared to that. That's it. So that's your phone torch, and it's my little tiny... You try what iPhone does compared to it. iPhone. That one's out my turn. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wait, that's all? That's everything. And then there's my... Yeah. Did you just <laughs> Did you just get scared from a tree? <laughs> Do you know when you back up to somebody in a barn you're like, sorry mate, I was like, oh. <laughs> Mate, you pooed it. There'll be a little metal cover that you can lift off. So that's a mine shaft? Yeah. you okay? Oh yeah, 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 I see, I yeah, see. You reach in, unlock your padlock. Oh, look at that. Might even be open. So that goes down into the mine? That's one of them. There's also another one in the field behind us. Is it open? No, I'm locking. I need to get stuff. No, it's locked. So there's a mine there. Mate, I'd love to metal detect that field. Bet there's loads of goodies from the druids and stuff. Flooded out. Oh, so that's another. Right, so we're at. An, whoa, what was that? You chucking stuff? You no. just chucked something, didn't you? I was watching him, you didn't. Mate, something just fell over there. Mate, I'm getting a bit creeped out now. Can you hear footsteps? That was behind you then. Yeah, something just fell behind me. That's the mine entrance. <laughs> you going up? To yeah, me? no, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's coming out, can hear footsteps? We we're walking back to the car and we found this. Now we looked at all the trees when we were walking down and this was not here. And what what to the left? 
That. This was not here. Oh, that's twig nearly fell over again. Why is it? It looks like it's been tied along the tree, so. It's the way it's tied, that's what I don't get. Stop it, Josh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm concentrating on filming! Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. The link is there. It costs a lot of money to make YouTube videos traveling around and I would appreciate it if you would join my Patreon. Also, please check out all the links down below. And again, thank you very much for watching.